how to stand in boxing. I see common mistakes being made from individuals who are taking boxing classes all across the world and then they're not really quite sure where they're, how to stand or where, where their feet should go as far as moving forward, back, left, and right. This video is gonna cover all the common mistakes that I see being made and how to correct those mistakes. Let's start off with what we call your neutral stance. Now, as your boxing trainer, I'm gonna cover this as from a perspective of you're someone who loves the lifestyle of boxing, enjoys boxing as a great workout. You're not looking to take it to that next level, maybe to a fighting uh, career, but you really are getting into all the studios and all the boxing gyms across the world and wanting to perform at a high level. Starts with your footwork and your stance. This is called a neutral stance. When we have both of our feet squared up, this is your neutral stance. We haven't designated what foot we want in front and what foot we want in back. It's really gonna come down to your shoulders as well. Orthodox fighter, your left foot's gonna be forward, your right foot's gonna be behind you, which means obviously your left shoulder is uh, out in front, it's called the lead, and then your right shoulder's in the rear. If you're an orthodox uh, southpaw, you're gonna have your right foot forward, which makes your right shoulder the lead, and your left foot is behind you, which makes it the rear. Now, what I like to do is, first of all, you wanna stand tall as a fighter, but you don't wanna be so tall that you're top heavy. You wanna bend your knees, and then let's go ahead and get in a stance. So since I'm a right-handed fighter, I'm gonna be an orthodox, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my stance. I'm gonna use these red strike sticks as a line. So when you see this line, you can use a, very commonly we'll use tape, uh, put a piece of tape on the floor, uh, broomstick, something of that nature, something straight. As an orthodox fighter, you don't want your front foot pointing forward like this. And the reason why is because when I have that, that, uh, that toes pointing straight ahead, it really is hard for me to keep my balance. What I wanna do is I wanna turn that front foot to basically about a 45 degree angle, okay? Almost as if I was facing, uh, let's call it uh, one o'clock on the dial. If this is three o'clock and that's 12 o'clock, I'm gonna look right about one, 1 32 o'clock, somewhere right in there. If I'm looking straight ahead at an angle, at a 45, that's where my foot, my feet should be pointing straight out that way. But I'm actually gonna be fighting at the 12 o'clock. So now I've got my front toe lined up with my back heel. So if I take these strike sticks away, you'll now notice that I've got a good boxing stance. I got my right shoulder behind me. I got my left shoulder out in the lead. Now, as far as your footwork, you wanna keep your weight on the balls of your feet. The more that you have your weight on the balls of your feet with your knees bent, I'm gonna open up my stance just a little bit. I like to be a little bit more bendy, so I have, like to have sitting down just a little bit. And that allows me to control my weight, transfer my weight, and move my weight. So with this being said, why we wanna have this angle is anytime we're throwing the right punch, you'll notice that my footwork, I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna pivot on that back foot. By doing so, it transfers my weight onto my lead leg. I don't wanna lean forward, I just wanna turn. I wanna keep my weight nice and balanced, my hands are up, my elbows are in, and I just wanna take my right, my rear shoulder, which is my right shoulder, and I wanna bring it forward. So I wanna bring it all the way forward so that it can connect and I can, I can, look, I can uh, withdraw or extend my hand, pop, okay? Now on the front leg, now that I've got my stance, my weight's forward, if I throw a hook, I can bring my weight on the back foot. Let's talk about your stance, why this is important. I see so many often, let's talk about the mistakes. I see so often that people get in alignment. Now you see where my toes are lining up and my heels are lining up. I'm in a line. Why might this be a mistake? Well, the mistake is made is that you're really asking your back, your rear shoulder, which is your right shoulder as an orthodox, to turn all the way through and you're putting a lot of torque on your knee and you're doing a lot of turning and twisting of your back. And it really takes this right punch out of play when it comes to your opponent. There's a lot more range of motion, which means the more range and the more that your opponent will see it coming, the worse off it's gonna be. I see so often the mistake is people squaring up. They'll box with their feet square. 
Now the reason this is an incorrect position is because you're giving away all of this body movement, all this real estate, body real estate to your opponent. Now, obviously you guys at home are not planning on putting mouthpiece on, headgear on and getting in the ring and fighting somebody, but it is important to make sure that you're creating the best habits in your classes, in your studios all across the world to be able to perform at a high level. So when you do this, you take a lot, a lot of the power because the power is gonna come from your hips and your legs up. So your legs and your hip are gonna come through your punches. So when you're throwing your cross, which is your two punch, your rear hook, which is your four, or your rear upper, which is your six, you need that turn and rotate. By rotating, you take the, the twist off the back. Let's look from a side angle. Again, I've got my front toe lined up with my back heel. My hands are up. I can turn, I can turn, I can pull my, my right shoulders in the rear, I pull my rear shoulder forward, I pull my rear shoulder forward. That's gonna give me that turning and it's gonna take all the pressure off my back. I'm not going like this, I'm not turning without pivoting. If I turn, if I punch without pivoting, I'm really twisting my back up and you're gonna wake up every morning with a pretty sore back, okay? From a side view, I'm just throwing punches with squared up. You can see that there's not a whole lot of power. I'm not using any back muscles to throw my punches, which means I'm not gonna be as powerful. So those are your key points when it comes to stance. Now, if you're working with a heavy bag, when you're working with a heavy bag, you have a cylinder. Now, once you're working in a cylinder in a circular position, you've got your stance, okay? Your back foot is gonna to have to move in a much bigger range than your lead foot. The inside circle, the inside, has a small distance to, to, to cover, and your back foot has a bigger distance to cover, okay? So let's look at working on a cylinder. When I work on that, I'm gonna take a small step to my left, I gotta take a bigger step. And you'll notice that my, my back shoulder follows behind, okay? So I step, step. If I step with my right, I step big and small. If I step to my right, I step big and I step small. Okay, always keeping your back shoulder behind you. So let's go over one more time. I'm here, small step with my left, big step with my right. Notice my shoulder's behind me. Small step with my left, big step with my right. Now let's go to our inside. Big step with our right, small step with our left. Big step with our right, small step with our left. Same thing for southpaws. Small step with my right, big step with my left. Target's right there, the bag. That cylinder, that circle, represents that heavy bag. Step, big step, turn, right. Big step, small step, big step, small step. I can turn on that heavy bag. It's called equal distance when you're going laterally or forward. Anytime you're going forward or backwards, what I see is a common mistake. Let's advance, if I take a small step forward with my left, my lead foot. I do not, I, won't, I don't want to see this. It's a mistake that people make. They'll take a big step back and a big step, they'll go big step, small step, okay? It's called equal distance. Let's get in our stance. Let's call it a six inch step forward. If I take six inches forward, I'm gonna take a six inch step with my back foot. Equal distance, I want to maintain my stance. So if I take a, a whole foot forward, 12 inches forward, let's say, I'm gonna take the same distance with my back, like boom, boom, back, back. What I don't wanna see is a small and then a big, okay? I don't wanna see a big and then a small. You want that equal distance. Let's go to our left. If I take uh, about a foot to the left, foot to the right, foot to the right, foot to the left. What I don't want is a small step and then a big step, okay? Equal distance. Whatever you do with one foot, you want to do with the other when you're going either forward, advancing, retreating, left and right. When you got that cylinder, you have to make an adjustment on this heavy bag. If I'm going to work to my left as a orthodox fighter, small step, big step, keeping that back shoulder behind me. Small step, big step. Moving to my inside, big step, small step. Big step, small step. Always keeping that shoulder. Because if I do equal distance working in a circular motion, small step, small step, I start to open up. Small step, small step, I start to open up and get square. 
Again, remember, we don't want to get square like this. We want to maintain that stance. That's your basic stance, footwork drills, forward equal distance, weight on the balls of your feet, and working around a heavy back or a cylinder motion. My goal is to continue to allow everybody to have the sport of boxing as a lifestyle and experience. Wherever you may be boxing, however you may be boxing, make it a lifestyle, make it an experience, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram,